All right, guys, we're at the Big Springs Shooting Complex in Grinnell, Iowa, hanging out with Brownells here. And I tell you what, we've had a uh, pretty interesting time, but I want to show you guys a really, really awesome piece of machinery here. You guys are definitely going to want to check this out. This is a Crazy Quail Mini. All right, you guys are probably familiar with Crazy Quail and what they've been doing. Uh, they've developed a really, really awesome game changer when it comes to throwing clays for uh, trap, skeet, or practicing, that kind of thing. We've got a mech machine up top, but basically the way this thing works is from the thrower down, it's a complete system that has connectivity with your uh, Android and uh, your Apple devices, basically. So it'll allow the machine to rotate on this axis as well as depending on the configuration of the machine you put up top, which it'll take pretty much any type of thrower you want, it will allow it to tilt as well. Now this one's set up to tilt and rotate. Okay, so I'm gonna try to demonstrate that for you. Now, we have actually have this engaged in a safety mode right now, so it will not throw a clay, so don't worry, I'm not gonna get hit in the head or anything like that. I know it's hard to tell, you can't see the screen here, but you basically are looking at the machine from kind of an overhead view. And just like the machine is sitting, essentially, if you want a clay to, let's say, throw further, you tap further out. And it's going to automatically position itself and angle itself to throw that clay exactly where you point. All right, so there's the machine. So I'm going to point in the same direction that I'm looking at it from overhead. Now, obviously, there are different modes uh, that we can get into. We're not going to get into all the bells and whistles because we really want to get this thing demonstrated for you to show you what it's capable of doing. Guys, this machine will absolutely keep the air full of clays. It is just insane. Like right now, we have four machines. This device will actually control all four machines. I can select either one machine or, you know, control them individually, or I can control them all together. And I can also use various programs. Like say I want to program a certain training regimen where I want like a certain amount of, of banking to the left, banking to the right, uh, you know, maybe uh, centering towards me or whatever the case may be. I want a certain training regimen. I can program that and just run it and it'll run that scenario until I tell it to stop. So that gives you flexibility to plan your day ahead in terms of being out the range and allow that training scenario to do the best thing that it can do for you and what your needs are. Or what, what I think is cool is just to have somebody running this thing and just keep it completely random. You don't know where the clays are going to go because the guy's just randomly selecting it. So we've got it in the same position. Let's say that I just want to throw three random clays. And for the sake of argument and to keep it simple for the video, I'm going to try to go like boom, 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 like one, two, three. So if I go one, two, three, just that quick. So it threw those three clays within a second and a half to include the movement as well. So it's, it's a very fast machine, as you'll see in a moment. So again, let's go with for maybe a little bit more drastic of a... Uh, of, of uh, arrangement here. So let's go like, let's try again and go like all the way to the right, all the way to the left, and then it throws one in the center. That's as, as simple as me looking at this overview and then tapping each area on the screen. It's literally that easy. So let's say that you're, uh, you know, Grandpa, <laughs> Grandpa Joe and you got your, you know, young buck kid who likes to play around on electronic devices. Well, Junior can sit there and just tap, play tap on the screen and Grandpa can shoot the clays out of the air. Everybody wins. All right, so right, left, and center just that quick. So if this thing were set up to throw, it would throw to the right, left, then center. And of course, if I were driving this machine and guys were shooting, they wouldn't know that I randomly selected that. They wouldn't know to expect that. But imagine not only this machine doing that, but every single machine doing that. And you're just keeping the air absolutely full of clays. So uh, we're going to back up here. Chad's going to do some shooting. I'm going to do some controlling. I'm going to try to stump Chad. We're just going to have a little fun with the crazy quail mini here. Let's do it. All right, now's the fun part. Chad gets to shoot, and I get to play with awesome technology. All right, we're running a couple of uh, Benelli M2s outfitted with X-Rails, so you're not going to see a lot of reloading. He's running a 26-round drum on this thing. That's going to be cool. All right, so what we're going to do is I'm gonna, just going to have some fun and make this random. I don't even need to be looking downrange um, to know what's going on because I know what's going on. I'm going to put the clays exactly where I want, and he's not going to have a single clue what's going on. Shooter ready? Shoot ready. Cool. All right. Ah! I suck at this. Oh my god! <laughs> ah, no! 
I'm giving you some weird stretches. All right, so those were, you know, kind of some quartering away and sort of, you know, getting them kind of going across a little bit and in some odd, uh, you know, situations. So the interesting thing is you notice how fast that machine gets turned around if I want to throw a clay in like an opposite direction. So again, I'm going to demonstrate that. It's going to, I'm not going to say which direction, but this time we're going to try to go, I'm not going to say where, but oh you'll see. All right, ready? Yeah, go ahead and pull. Excellent. Okay. How many rounds you got left in that? A few? I don't know, a few. All right, you ready? I got a whole other gun right here loaded up. So. That's fine. Ready? <laughs> yeah, pull. Ah! ah. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, crap! All right, well, <laughs> the silliest thing about this is that this is just one machine. So as soon as he's out of ammo, we're going we're gonna to pick up the pace. I got one more round left, so. All right, ready? Go I'm going to yeah. give you one more clay. Beautiful. All right. All right. I'm going to switch guns. Clear. Okay. Very, very convenient having 50 rounds of ammo laying here. Exactly. Okay. All right. Now we are <sighs> going to throw a wrench in Chad's day, but in an awesome way. Now it's kind of weird with just one shooter demonstrating this because to really appreciate what I'm about to do here, you, you really need about 10 shooters on a line, which you should be seeing some shots of that from earlier. Are you ready? No. Are you sure? No. Okay. <laughs> All right. Go ahead. Oh my God. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh, that one broke. Oh, Nelly. Oh, Nelly. <laughs> All right, get ready. Whoa. Oh. oh crap, there's a way out there. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> all right, maybe maybe all the machines might be a little hard, even with this. <laughs> there you go, good shot. All right, I'm going to change it back to one machine, okay? So you guys can see, obviously, I've literally been operating this device for 10 minutes, and I, I've got the hang of it. Obviously, there are different modes that this thing can do. This is the most basic mode. This is uh, basically what they call free play. And I'm basically just telling exactly what I want it to do when I want it to do it. So the the bad thing is he's been playing with us for 10 minutes, but I've been shooting all afternoon. And I still suck. That's why <laughs> that's why you're shooting and I'm not. We might have to switch up and let me try. But um, so let's say you're a coach or something and you want to bird. Yeah, I did. Oh, that's a an actual an bird. Actual yeah, bird. don't shoot. <laughs> so say I'm a coach or something and I want to actually um, train a student on a very specific shot that he's missing on a regular basis which is with all a, of them which is all of them in your case but like with a hand thrower or something it might be hard to do that but with this machine all right i'm going to go for uh consistency here i'm going to give you three shots but they're all going to be the same okay all right ready ready Sit, pull it ah damn so that's consistency right there, like being able to put the clay exactly where I want it to go. And if I've got a student that I'm training, I'm a coach or whatever, that gives me a lot of flexibility to do exactly what I need to do to train a shooter on, on what he's doing wrong. We need to do this more. Oh, well, yeah, we're gonna do it more. Okay, we're gonna shoot till you're out and then we'll reload and I'll give it a try. And then Chad can uh, find a way to screw this up. I'm sure he will. Sounds like fun. All right, ready? Pull. Hmm. All right, I'm going to switch machines because that one's out of clays. That's easy enough. Uh, like that machine, I've been, you know, relying on it quite a bit. So obviously it's running low on food. So we can switch to another one. All right. Whoa. Good shot. All right. I can hit them when they're close. Yep. Okay, ready? Whoa. Oh, that one broke. <laughs> All right. Now oh, that one broke too. Oh. Good. Ah. There you go. All right. Whoa, whoa. All right, I'm out. So there you can see those extreme throws, hopefully. I made that machine throw all the way to the right in the center and then all the way to the left. And just showing how quick this thing can get where it's going and throw the clay and with the amount of precision it can do it, it's really mind-boggling. I mean, 
to really appreciate this machine, you really got to play with it in person and check it out. We're going to reload it and uh, switch places. I'm going to give it a try, see how horrible I can do. My turn. So I just learned how to use this thing, so we're going to uh, give Eric some easy throws first, just to see how uh, well he can do on that. Let's see what we got here. All right, easy throws. Are you hitting them? Oh, yeah. Let's see. Uh huh. <laughs> Well, those those are a little bit tricky. I mean, it's only like 60, 70 yards, but boy, it's, it's tough. Yeah, those are tricky. And you guys know we don't do this very often, so. No, obviously right. not. You want some hard stuff now? Oh, that, you mean that wasn't hard? <laughs> All right, hit me. Ah! Are you out? Nope. <laughs> All right, we're going to get crazy for a minute here. Send it. <laughs> Those ones that are going away and falling, it's like, I, I don't know where to lead them. Dude, I was told to point and aim way further than you thought you needed to below them, but boy, it ain't working for me. All right, I'm gonna try again. Well, that one had some air time. It did. I'm not good at this. I mean, it's aiming like five feet below it. Well, oh. <laughs> I paying attention. Oh, that was a good shot. Ah, all <laughs> out. I'll tell you what, you know, one thing about it, it definitely adds to the fun factor of shooting shotguns. I think that's the, the kind of biggest thing to consider there with something like this. Yeah, I mean, we've got, you know, just a manual clay thrower that we've used in the past, and I mean, it's, it's fun and all, but, you know, you have to have an operator there and sit down and actually throw it, but, you know, you can set up different programs on here where it's all automatic. And you can sit out there by yourself and practice. I mean, these are expensive machines. They're, you know, that's the only really detrimental thing to it. But I mean, if you're a clay range or you're a really avid, avid, uh, you know, clay shooter, then you know it might be worthwhile to invest in something like this. I mean, I I'd love to have one. You know, to be honest with it's you, pretty interesting. I mean, and the thing is, I'm not even a skilled like shooter when it comes to this kind of stuff. But uh, immediately, I identified a training deficiency. Just from us playing around, I realized that certain clays, I need to learn like the techniques for hitting those clays. I'm hitting some of them and hit, not hitting others. That teaches me what I need to, need to improve on. Well, I know there's one thing we can take from this is we are no Gould brothers. No, we are certainly not. <laughs> well, guys, uh, thanks for watching this video. I know this one was uh, kind of quick and dirty compared to uh, you know, what we do normally, but we hope you enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. This Crazy Quail Mini is an awesome machine. Guys, they make ones that are even crazier than these, no pun intended, but... Um, I tell you what, it's definitely a blast. Hopefully you can see how fun this is. Uh, thanks for watching today's video. We'll catch you next time. We got many more on the way and uh, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks. Take care guys.